one day, and this gentleman is approaching me. He was a very good-looking man. I knew immediately he was an Arab because he was wearing his 7-Eleven uniform. <laughs> his chest is open, his hair is sticking out, and big gold chain. He ordered me, he's like, come here, come here, dance with me. Maybe you'll be my wife. Oh my God, l lucky me, my American dream has come true. <laughs> I am going to marry Chewbacca after all. <laughs> I am like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know your name, but let's say Jafar. <laughs> we cannot dance here. Look around, we are in Chuck E. Cheese. He's like, oh, I know what you want. You are playing hard to get because you want me to buy you a car. And I can because my father owns mobile oil. I'm like, wow, I don't want your car, but I would love to meet your father. <laughs> that would be really nice. <laughs> is there anyone with an accent in the crowd? No, it's only me. It's, life is very difficult if you have an accent in America. It's just so everybody makes fun of you. Even other foreigners make fun of you. I went to get my nails done in a Vietnamese salon. These two Vietnamese ladies right in front of you, they talking to each other in their own language. They're looking at me while they're talking, and they're laughing. <laughs> Obviously, they are talking about me. Not even behind my back, right to my face, right there. They're like, <laughs> what? what? What did you say? What? Am I fat? What are you talking about? Ah, you talk very, very funny. Oh, really? I talk very, very funny. Well, you eat dogs. <laughs> So I'm thinking, I'm going to get even with these people. I'm going to open my own nail salon, strictly for Vietnamese. When they come in, I am going to speak Turkish. Merhabalar, burayı boom diye patlatacağım. Take that, witch. How about that, huh? 